Okay. What's up, guys? Uh, Vexy uh, CSGO here, also known as McGinley Customs on my Discord and stuff like that. Today, I'm going to be doing a highly, highly requested video on Zmod Lot on how to make a car. A police car with a light bar, ELS working. I'm not going to be doing non ELS because that's just irrelevant because no one uses non ELS these days. So, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing Zmod Lot 3. I really would recommend a licensed version. It's only four dollars fifty, and it uh, has like all the up-to-date files on LSPDF file you can use. You also need your car. I'm going to be using a Development 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, and your light bar. And I'm going to be using the Argent S2. Now I'm going to split down this tutorial into different videos. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to just actually import the car and put the light bar onto your car. And in the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make it ELS compatible. So, what you want to do first is you want to organize your workspace. So, this is very simple to start. I've just made one folder called YouTube, and I've got my two WinRAW files here. So, I'm going to grab my two WinRAW files, and I'm going to put it in my YouTube file. Okay, well, that did not go up on your plan. You can also do it this way. <laughs> oh. Let's just open up the file. Okay, where's the file? And here it is. So in my file, I like to make five uh, different sort of files. So I would make one called the the car, and I'll make another one called the light bar. And I'd wait. I would make one more called textures. In the textures folder, I would actually just throw every texture so I don't have to go in and out of folders to find what I need to put into the YTD file. If you don't know, uh, the YTD is the text dictionary for the car. So here we have the car, so we're just going to take the file components, just going to throw it in the car folder. We're done with that Winmore file. Now we're going to take the light bar files, and as you can see, there is some textures in here so we're going to throw them into the textures file and then we'll take the others including the credits and we will throw them into the light bar folder okay so once you've organized your workspace what you want to do is you want to start up scene the free I'm going to try and make this as uncut as I possibly can. I'm sorry if it lags this episode. I forgot to actually overclock all of my components. So it will lag. As you can see, it's starting up. Alright, so once you're in Zmodler, it depends what sort of car you have, but usually it would be a... Um, merge a, a open file sorry a z3d file that you could open to open the car and in some other cases it would be a ytd for the ytds if you do have one you click up here on import and you find it and you double click it to open it but in our case if you're going to be copying me we need to go to open file open and then we need to find the car file where we have just saved it so my one was in youtube the car and here it is, we need to open this. Okay, so once you open it, it may look a bit strange like this. All you have to do there, because you have no level of detail on, so it won't show anything. You go up here to your uh, your structure and your hierarchy, and you just want to click L0. So this is what it would look like if you're literally standing right in front of the car. If you're standing a bit away from the car, it would look like this. If you're standing even further away from the car, it would look like this. If you're standing even further away from the car, it would look like this. And if you are standing um, far, far while away, it will literally just look like a box. Okay. So if you are copying me again, you want to rename the police underscore high to just police, or the car slot you want it to be. In my case, I want it to stay as... Uh, actually, in my case, I want to rename it police 2. So like that. So now we've got the car imported, we are ready to work on it. 
Just make sure there are no missing textures. It will tell you down here that there is missing textures if there is. So once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go to File, Merge, and again, it, you would import it if it was a YTD. But in my case, my light bar that I'm going to be using is a, a, a um, Z3D. Here it is here, the Federal Signal Argent S2. These are light bars that they use in LA. Here it is. And luckily, because this light bar is meant for the Crown Vic, it already comes in place where you want it to be. So I won't be moving it. So, I'm just going to untick some of the components. In fact, we'll untick all of them. So you want to go through each and every one of these and you want to find out what their purpose is. So this is the base of the light bar. This is where the modules and stuff will go on. So we'll leave this ticked. We'll see what light is. So as you can see, these are the lights here. And these are the alleys, the alley lights. So these will be the ones on the side here. So that's the purpose of them. M-O-N-T, which I assume stands for mount, is just the thing that connects it to the car. So if we untick the metal brace, <coughs> sorry guys, what's my voice? If we untick the metal brace, it will untick this bit here, the brace. If we untick the bracket, it will take off the brackets connected to the light bar. And if we open here, we have the bolts for the rubber mounts. And these are the rubber mounts. So what we're going to do is we just want to make these all their own dummy. If you don't understand what I said, that's fine. You don't really need to know. So as you can see... Oh, and also these are the uh, the modules. So you just want to take everything that is underneath something and put it on top. So what I mean here, so as you can see, these four are underneath the M-O-N-T. You just want to put them on top like that by dragging and dropping. Now, you want to untick Police 2 to hide it. Now as you can see, I just have light ticked and it is only showing light. What you want to do is you want to, um, you want to uh, attach all of these, uh, uh, all of these like, all of like the base stuff together, so you won't attach the glass, so you're going to untick that, you, wanna, you want to attach this, that, but we're going to do it at one time, so we want to go to modify up here at the top left, attach, and then in your window here, you just want to click on this thing here, you go back down to your hierarchy down here, you tick another thing, and you see if it is actually for the, the light bar, which this is, this is going to be the brackets. And you want to somehow reach down to the brackets on this window and just connect them. So now, if I untick both of these, uh, I mean this one, it will, t un it will hide both of them. Now, as you can see, we've got the metal bracket here. And that also takes part on this light bar. So we're going to be attaching this. Now we have the rubber mounts and you just want to keep, keep on attaching these things until you have got just the base. Here we have the bolts. Now, here are the lights. These are the modules, so you would want to attach these together. Now, these are the lights here. You do not want to attach this to anything, so just leave this unticked and just throw it underneath the bracket. Now, here are the alley lights. You want to attach the alley lights to the rest of the base. And last but not least, we've got the actual base for the light bar. And of course you want to attach that. So once you're done, you should be left with your siren, glass R&B, glass white top, and glass white bottom. And also your, uh, it may vary to a different name because you might be attaching it differently, but you should just have this. Okay guys, so once you've got all that, you just want to untick that, and you want to tick the glass. You want to attach all of the glass together, so to do this, it doesn't matter what order you're doing, you just attach it all together. Now when you untick it, it should untick all of the glass. Now you want to put it all back on and check it's all fine, working perfectly. Alley lights are there and everything, so that's all good. The thing that you should know of the S2, there is no traffic advisors, so this is not exactly the LAPD one. If you want no traffic advisors, I believe it's the SL, I'm not 100% sure. But what we do from here, is we want to detach the lights. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode, so stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more of these tutorials. And remember, what we've done in this video is we have just attached the light, the, the, um, put like, we've put the light bar on the car, made it look at home. And if your light bar doesn't look at home, all you've got to do is you've got to go to select, quad R, 
you hold right click and you just drag and like you just drag all of this until it's red all of it's red then you go to modify move and then you can move it around as you can see here now you can only move it up and down on the x and y but if you switch to z you can move it back and forward if you want it to just go down you can put it on y and you can't move it left or right and if you want it to go left or right but not up you can do that So that's how you move it. Stay tuned for episode 2 where you can learn how to make your light bar ELS enabled.